friends, it's Nancy. Um, I've got a quick, easy to do DIY for tonight. Um, I've been making these fabric rag balls. Um, my intention is to make enough to fill a bowl. Uh, you know, either a like a stoneware bowl or maybe a basket. Anyway, I had got some fabric at the thrift store on the weekend. Um, Maybe you caught my haul. There was a couple pieces of fabric I got. And I got picked up a little bit more yesterday when I was out. So uh, what I did was I coffee dyed the fabric because some of it was really stark white. And uh, I, I didn't like the look of that. So I coffee dyed it, um, hung the fabric to dry, and now I've made five and we're ready to go to do number six. So here's some of the fabrics that I've gotten, um, and to to for the surface of well, I guess not the, the surface, but the base of the fabric ball. I've been using these plastic baseballs that I got at the dollar store. Um, there was three in a package for a dollar and um, the, the fabrics have been pre-washed and then I'm just tearing them into one inch strips. They don't have to be measured exactly, just you know eyeball it. Um, so I've got my trusty glue gun. So you just kind of give it a dab of glue and then the most important thing is for the first round you're going to want to um, make sure that the, the entire white surface is covered. And then afterwards, when you're doing the layers on top, you can kind of make it look more like, um, you know, how a yarn ball would be um, wrapped. So just, you know, go in there. Um, you can use, you know, relatively short strips, um, you know, six inches maybe is probably adequate, whatever you have. So um, I'm using a hot glue gun. Well, it's not actually a gun, it's more like a pen, which I really like. I got it at Michael's with a coupon, of course. It takes, you know, traditional um, glue sticks and works just the same, but it's got a different sort of grip like a pencil um, so I like that and just you know every few inches uh, add a dab of glue and and pull your strip pretty taut um, you can glue it right to the surface of the bowl the ball looks like I have to add a glue stick so you have to, for this one, you kind of have to pull back on the trigger and then add the, the glue stick. Um, as I've pr been practicing, I'm getting better with each new ball. And, and with the, the, the dyeing as well, that took a little bit of practice. So um, did, all fabrics kind of take dye a little bit differently. Um, one ball, uh, one fabric probably was more synthetic than anything else. So I left it all day in a bath of, of coffee dye, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Uh, it was this one, this one actually. So this was a little toddler shirt that you saw in my haul on the weekend. I um, actually uh, got up this morning and whipped a couple of these together before work, did the dishes, got my kitchen tidy, and then just went to, went to work on these. They're a lot of fun, they're easy, they're, uh, they don't take a lot of expensive tools or supplies, so that's always nice. 
Okay, so we're almost completely covered. Um, so now I want to start hiding the ends. So, like here, I'm going to twist back the top layer, put in this raw edge, and then pull that over. You see that? So that there's no raw edge showing. And I want to make sure that the white part here is completely covered, so I'll just make sure that that's centered on there. And, uh, and now it's completely covered. So we can start adding some more dabs of glue oh, every few inches. And whenever possible, tucking it under um, the layer above. Okay, so that didn't turn out super great. Um, so let's try it again with a new strip of fabric. So we'll put that right there and then tug this over top just using uh, the blade of my scissor to sort of hold that down. There. Okay. So now we're going to start going the other way. It's um, Tuesday. It's going to be a short week for me. I think I mentioned on the weekend that I was um, taking every Friday off this summer, um, but it's also a long weekend because it's uh, Canada Day weekend. I've got a little spot here, I'll have to remember it. Well, maybe I'll just, there, fixed it. Um, so Canada Day is on the 1st of July. If you're not Canadian, you might not know that. Um, and this year we're celebrating the 151st birthday of Canada, of Confederation. And um, it's looking like it's going to be a super hot weekend. In fact, um, my husband was telling me tonight that down around Windsor, which is uh, about three hours west of us. Um, they're calling for humidex of in in the 50s. So I'm thinking that's got to be almost 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So ridiculous, ridiculous hot. Okay, so I'm going to want to cover that. So I'll just flip back this edge. A little glue there. Um, so I hope everybody's air conditioning holds out this weekend, that's for sure. I don't have any big plans myself. Um, well, I guess the point I was trying to make, let's make a point, Nancy. The point I was trying to make was uh, because it's Canada Day weekend, um, the holiday falls on the Saturday or the Sunday? Sunday, I guess. Um, so um, I will get my holiday on Monday. So I'm actually going to have a four day weekend, which is okay with me. Now my husband usually works weekends. I'm just gonna mention here that you're gonna wanna cover this. Well, I'm gonna wanna cover this. <laughs> Um, but he's actually got Sunday and Monday off, which is really nice because we don't get a lot of uh, time off together unless we are actually on vacation. Um, his days off are generally during the week when I'm at the office. But uh, he usually has Mondays off. And I believe his, the restaurant where he works, they intend to close on Canada Day. So that's giving him two days off.
probably go home, our hometown, to visit family. Um, both of us have our mothers still with us. And they're in their 80s. And actually, my grandmother is 101. So I haven't seen her for oh, three or four weeks, I guess. Um, so I'm going to have to pop in and see her. Now, you'll notice that in a couple of these, I've it looks like I've tied fabric, I've knotted it together, and that's exactly what I've done. Um, but that was intentional, so I'm going to take a strip, rip it in half, and tie a knot. And this will be sort of the finishing outside edge, just to give it a really primitive kind of look. And then I'll tie the other end. And, and then cut that. And give it one more knot. So like I said, you don't have to use long strips like this. This uh, just happened to be a big hunk of fabric. It's probably a fat quarter. Um, so I was able to cut, um, tear long strips. But like these ones that were shirts, these were smaller pieces. Some were, oh, I'm going to add a little blue here. That looks kind of messy. Some of the pieces were, you know, four, four or five inches long. That's it. Um, this one was yardage, so I've only got a couple of knots in there. Two knots. You don't have to have the knots. Um, I'm going to peel back this piece here I hope you don't mind watching a DIY um, sometimes I get comments saying show us show us what you do with your finds and this is one of the projects that I'm doing with my finds. Um, but I do know that my haul videos are much more popular than my DIYs. I like DIYs. Um, I especially, and this is, maybe this is funny. Maybe, I, maybe I'm not the only one. I actually like to watch um, British YouTube videos of DIYs and listen to the just the the musical quality of the 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 British accent, and I could it's like a lullaby. I could literally just pass out, have a big nap. <laughs> um, I just I really enjoy. It. I like British TV too. Um, I mean, who doesn't didn't like Downton Abbey and uh, Call the Midwife? That's that's amazing television viewing for sure. So uh, that's it for this one. I'm actually out of balls. I'm going to have to go back to the dollar store and get some more. Um, don't really have a tuck spot for this one, but. We'll just make sure it's really fastened down good and maybe that tail of that knot covers it up. Uh, so, whoops. So that's my project tonight. I hope that you're having a great week. Um, I know that uh, sorry, got lost in thought there for a second. I know that anybody with a glue gun could do this. Um, so if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try to answer the questions. Um, if you've got any suggestions, I know some people suggested I use a styrofoam ball. Um, actually, these plastic balls were cheaper. I, um, they didn't have big styrofoam balls at the dollar store, they, but they had these, these, I mean, that's a handful, right? They had these big, these big, 
plastic baseballs. Um, and I think I haven't used glue gun on styrofoam before, but I would think that the hot, the temperature of the glue would melt the, the styrofoam a little and make it a little bit misshapen. I don't know. Um, but it, this particular method works for me. Um, and I think I'll leave it there. I hope you're having a great week and we will talk to you again soon. Take care.